Go on, people. All right, lesson number three. My student has made a lot of progress in just his third lesson, and you'll actually see that as you continue to watch the video. Now, in today's lesson, we went to a spot to basically teach him how to handle turning the bike. So, in this lesson, I really wanted him to learn the basics of turning the bike because in the last video, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and click the card above. In the last video, he dropped the bike because he was attempting to turn, but he did not understand the whole leaning process and everything. So I may actually wanted to show him how to turn the bike properly, but basically where we're at, um, there are a couple hills. So decided that, hey, teach him some hill start as well. If you're a beginner, you'll know that hill starts are one of the hardest things for beginners. The hill start would have given him much challenge more than the turning, but it turned Turns out that he proved me wrong. Stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Whoa! Yeah, too much clutch and your foot was also down on the back brake. So, remember, once you start go, your step time ease up off the back brake. You know what I'm saying? You now go drop the bike, you move the bike from here so, go up there so. You see me? That's the end of the story. You see me? Yeah man, look where you want to go, ease out the clutch, remember to ease off the back brake when you start moving. Alright, so the basics of starting and moving off on a hill, it's fairly simple, but you have to memorize the process. So the first thing that I recommend is to cover your back brake, your rear brake. You can use your front brake, but it's much easier to use a back brake as the front brake adds a bit more to the whole process. All right, so you cover your back brake, then you put your bike in gear, first gear. Once you put your bike in gear, your clutch should already be pulled in. You go ahead, start the bike. Remember to cover the back brake, start the bike, and here's the motion. You're going to release the clutch while releasing the back brake while giving the bike gas. So basically moving off on a hill is just as moving off on a flat surface. Only difference is you're involving the back brake in this whole process or the brake basically. So once you go ahead and ease out the clutch and you give the bike gas and you ease off the back brake, you're going to completely remove your foot off the back brake once the bike gets going you don't need to hold the back brake anymore once the bike gets going but you need to basically feather your clutch and hold it at that point where the bike start move until it start move faster then you uh, release it slowly and you're good to go <laughs> well the brake <laughs> <laughs> clutch yep because you ease up off the back brake you know you did good but rem yeah remember to hold the clutch right where it started in gear can me see when it started me see when it rolled back a little bit you know i mean i say all right see what he might do ready again front brake mm -hmm. yeah in a gear Steady. Uh, 
Yeah man, continue. Use up our gas. Touch in. Boy, hold it up, me not touch you. <laughs> Danny straight? <Yeah. laughs> mm. I guess the fact that the corner here come more quick, quicker. And that one, it take you some time to actually take the corner. I, you realize the country come tell you about the apex of the kind of go wide come in. Yeah. It work. Yeah. yeah. If it, it, right. Yeah. If you've ever come up back on the same angle, you'd have to do more leaning. Okay, so here you can see that he's pushing the bike down the hill. Now, you might be wondering why is he pushing the bike down the hill? Well, this is only so that he can improve his balance because normally when he's starting off, you know, he, he gets a little wobbly and, you know, he starts to put down his foot even while riding off, you know? So basically what I have him do is to push the bike down this little slope here and basically get used to the whole weight of the bike and, and maintaining his balance without putting his feet down. Coasting the bike down a hill is a good practice, you know, of, of basically maintaining your balance, slow speed and, and stuff like that. When you feel like it, yeah, you know, come back now. Cover your back brake. <laughs> oh, that was a jumpy star. Stop. 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 Break, break, man. Use the break, man. Remember, I break, then dead ain't a brother.
<laughs> he realized. He realized he can't stop. Take your time, boy. Let's pull in the cut. Take your time. neutral and turn <laughs> progress to your turn <laughs> you stalled, <laughs> but you stopped. <laughs> Yo, that was good, man. Yeah. Yeah, you was that as a reference point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> of course, brother. No progress at the making one. He'll stop downhill. You can actually go downhill now with the bike on. Thank you.